am I for level? I don't know who's doing levels around here, but am I always speaking about this kind of level? Unless I get terribly excited. When you meet a group and you talk about making a record cover, he's the guy, everyone's like, we kind of want it to be like Houses of the Holy or Dark Side of the Moon. It takes as long as it takes, and that's the end of it. If you want something good, you have to wait, and it's the same with Storm. What Storm, as part of hypnosis, did in the 60s was that they really invented the concept of the dramatic album cover. The album cover as event. beds. I gave Storm um, a drawing that I had done of, of an empty bed, a single one, and I said, this is a, an image that to me says something. And he said, great, but let's have 500 empty beds. <laughs> Storm said to me, I've been asked by Pink Floyd to do their album cover. You know, so I said, well, let's do it together. We started hypnosis actually in Poe's bathroom. And I remember the first few jobs we did was processed amongst the knickers of his then current girlfriend, which was still in the bath. Suddenly we were doing album covers. We were in business. By the time we were 22, we were in business. And, and, and then it just happened and took off from there. Brian Morrison said, I have other bands. Could you do album covers for me for like $90? The Pretty Things, Alexis Corner, T-Rex, Mark Bolin. Of course we can, we can do anything. I'm one of the rare artists that actually got my own face on a hypnosis sleeve. I'm sure it was because Storm realized in my inner beauty. Um, but actually, I think it was more so that he liked this idea of taking the mugshot, the face, which is normally the sort of selling vehicle for an artist, and then totally destroying it. They, in their own way, were as cavalier as we were, and I liked that. We were trying to create, with Poe and Storm, music and vision that would have some kind of kinship. It's very difficult to tell whether you're doing art, like whether the picture is what you want, or whether it's something that's proscribed by something else. I, a client has come along and said, can I have a picture for this jacket, for this record? And the shape of the jacket, as specified by the industry, is all part and parcel of that problem. Like, I don't know whether on any design that we refer to, whether that's exactly what I wanted, right, in terms of some expression of me about something or some honest response to the music. Maybe it doesn't matter who, who cares whether it's art or not. You know, if a record sells quarter of a million, there's a quarter of a million homes with a little piece of us in it. You know, I've always been a fan of Storm's work. From a very young age, I used to go around to a friend of mine around his house and I'd listen to Pink Floyd and he always had like lots of Pink Floyd posters around his room. The beautiful thing about working with Storm is, you know, if you're sitting in a meeting and there's record company there, he's, he's funny because he'll, he'll be like, yeah, listen, just so you know, we are not going to be paying attention to a thing the record company says, you know. <laughs> For some reason I just had this idea in my head that he was like this Swedish guy who was about 6'4", who was not amused. Any sort of meeting with Storm runs along the same sorts of lines, which is he runs a sort of interview to find out what, what you want and how it should be, and then goes off and does whatever he wants and whatever he thinks it should be. I think he's a dreamer, really. I mean, he dreams up ideas. He'll just say, well, I am who I am, accept me or not and accept the talent I have or forget it. I 
record, record covers are brilliant as shit. I said that. I, I deny it completely. <laughs>